Goliath, champion or coward? Goliath is described as standing 2.8 meters tall, compared to the 1.7 meters of an average soldier, wearing a coat of mail that weighed 57 kilograms, carrying a spear that weighed 7 kilograms. He was indeed a formidable opponent. The name Goliath in the Bible is not Semitic, but rather Indo-European and consistent with Philistine origins in Greece. In Biblical Hebrew, the name Goliath comes from the verb gala, meaning to uncover, remove, or go into exile. Goliath's shield was one that represents the fruition of his attack on the believer, which is anxiety, fear, doubt, and unbelief. The first thing the Israelites saw was Goliath's shield being born ahead of him. Fear struck the camp, causing inability, the opposition to faith that overcomes the world. The Israelites looked at Goliath in relation to their natural weapons and their own sides. Common sense told young David that the giant Goliath was bigger and stronger than him. But faith said that God would defeat the giant. We read in 1 Samuel 17 verses 8 through 10 in the message translation, Goliath stood there and called out to the Israelite troops, Why bother using your whole army? Am I not Philistine enough for you? And you're all committed to Saul, aren't you? So pick your best fight and put him against me. If he gets the upper hand and kills me, the Philistines will all become your slaves. But if I get the upper hand and kill you, you'll all become our slaves and serve us. I challenge the troops of Israel this day. Give me a man. Let us fight it out together. David looked at Goliath and compared him to God in size and might. And there was no competition. It was all about perspective. When David looks upon his this oversized Philistine, He's not impressed by Goliath's armor, his stature, nor his curses. David sees a man and an army standing in defiance, not just of his people, but of God. David is fighting as the seed of Abraham in a covenant battle. God promised Abraham to curse those who curse his people, and so by cursing Israel, this Goliath has signed his death certificate. David runs to confront Goliath and the giant is shocked, even offended, that such a puny warrior would dare meet him in battle. Is this some kind of joke? The giant threatens to kill David, dishonor his corpse and deny him an honorable burial. The message translation has Goliath saying, Come on, I'll make roadkill of you for the buzzards. I'll turn you into a tasty morsel for the field mice. David's response is that Goliath is trusting in his own ability. But no weapons of warfare can hope to compete with divine power and heavenly armor. Goliath fails to see that in fighting David is fighting almighty God. God's enemy is humbled and beaten with his own weapon. We can see that Goliath trusts in his armor, but David in his God. Goliath's covering is his fear and hate. David's is faith and love. Goliath's covering is carnal, fleshly, visible of the world, yet David's covering is spiritual, invisible. Goliath's universe is centered, focused on himself, while David's universe is centered and focused on God. Goliath's hedge of protection is his dead armor. David's hedge of protection is the living word of God. Goliath's brass armor manifests that he is proud of his sin, and David's lack of armor manifests his humility. What is your Goliath facing you, taunting you today? A 
Is it sickness? Is it fear of failure? Is it maybe facing bankruptcy? Or maybe a broken marriage or a relationship? A wayward child? Could it be a bully? Whatever it is, in Christ Jesus we can overcome our giant and have the victory through the power that God provides us through His Spirit that indwells us as born-again believers. My prayer for you today, precious Heavenly Father, thank you for the precious blood of Jesus Christ, through whom we have the victory over every giant we may face in this life. Lord God, I pray for strength and encouragement for everyone reading this, listening to this. Holy Spirit, please refresh us again and help us to focus on you, Lord and not on the giant in front of us. In Jesus' mighty and glorious name, Amen. Stay blessed, and do not listen or be shaken by the threats of any giant that's in front of you. Jesus is our victory. It's Pastor Paddock for Laos Leo Ministries International.